morning folks I want to give you an update today about this earthquake we had on Saturday I want to talk to you a little bit more about earthquakes here okay earthquakes is a reality it comes with living here in this country anywhere along this ring of fire look at this map this map is this is from the USGS US United States Geological Survey I got this right off the, the web it's a good depiction of what the ring of fire is and it's it's you can see look at all the active tornadoes that run along this ring of fire if you live in california and you tell me that you're used to earthquakes i invite you to come here i invite you to come here bring your ass on over here and live through one like we had saturday afternoon which ended up being a 6.9 magnitude earthquake 27 miles deep under the earth south of Waikil, which is three hours away two and a half hours away it shook this whole country up and unfortunately 14 people lost their lives the pictures that i'm about to show you might be disturbing to some of you so you may not want to look at them but you know it's the reality of of living with earthquakes It, unfortunately, this this woman in in Cuenca, sitting in her car, in the middle of the street, you know, and the facade of a building fell off and it crushed her car and it killed her. That's her laying in the the first picture you saw there. It's it's very sad. It's very unfortunate. I don't care. You say you you, you get, I, listen. I lived in in California for ten years. And there are a lot of earthquakes during that 10-year period, and I don't remember any of them. I, I faintly remember one that happened in the middle of the night that happened in Joshua Tree National Forest a long ways away. I was in San Diego, and my girlfriend woke me up at the tail end of the earthquake, and all I can remember was hearing the, the shower doors rattling back and forth. I didn't feel anything. I wasn't alarmed by it. I went right back to sleep. Of course, the night of enjoying my adult libations the night before probably had a lot to do with that, but nevertheless, I didn't experience it like I do here. I've experienced several earthquakes here, and I've recorded all the ones that have been memorable to me, and I have to say, the one that happened Saturday was the worst. It didn't help matters by my friend Stella being here with me, she was here looking after me because I was sick from food poisoning from the night before. So it was a double whammy for me. But a 6.9 earthquake is a serious earthquake. I don't care how you look at it. According to this report, it says, except for the collapse of a building facade that killed one and injured two others, early assessments show that Cuenca escaped Catastrophic damage from earthquakes from Saturday's 6.7. Here they said 6.7 magnitude earthquake. We are very fortunate that we did not have any injuries and damage, says Tatiana Panada, Cuenca Risk Management Director. I don't know what, oh, well, she said we didn't have any more injuries and damage. She added that it was ironic that, ironic that photos seen around the world were the scene on Calle Sucre where falling debris killed a motorist, even though damage from the earthquake was worse closer to the epicenter we became the face of disaster because of the news media pictures those of us with relatives in the u.s and spain have been busy answering messages saying we are fine as so have i i've had a lot of people express concern and writing to me and ask me if i'm okay and as you can see i'm fine i have i'm wearing this hat because i have Additional gray hair that I didn't have Friday So I'm just you know, I'm, I'm disguising it According to the latest government count 15 dead and 473 were injured in the earthquake that occurred just after noon Saturday Centered under Puna Island south of Waikil the National Risk Management Office reports that 93 homes were destroyed with another 202 severely damaged damage to public facilities Included six bridges destroyed and significant damage to 69 schools 
in 39 hospitals and clinics. Damage to highways will still be assessed Sunday night. In Ojibwe province, landslides will close the highways connecting Cuenca to Waikil through the Cajas Mountains. Well, that's nothing new. And to Makata through Garon and Pasahi. In a statement, the Transportation Ministry reported widespread calls of cases of subsidence, subsidence cracks and sinkholes and slope instability near roadways. Another concern is the landslide that temporarily blocked the flow of the Rio Contaco near San Isabel. So that's it. I mean, it's, you know, I, again, those of you that live in California say that earthquakes are nothing, you survived many earthquakes. Bring your ass down here and live through some of these, okay? And tell me that they're nothing. And if you come here and tell me that it didn't bother you, I'm going to tell you you're a lying son of a bitch. If you got a pulse and you're upright and breathing on your own, a 6.9 earthquake is going to get your attention. Believe me, it's going to get your attention and it's going to bother you. There are several people here that say, I didn't notice anything. Well, hell, if I was half as medicated as these people are, most of the time I probably wouldn't feel it either. So anyway, that's my update on the earthquake. The other thing I wanted to share with you, just kind of a quick share. I got an email from somebody today, and I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, well, I am I take all my emails very seriously, and I don't really mean it to be funny. But my friend Joanne from Cedar Park, Texas, wrote to me and said, I just completed your survey. The collated results should be interesting. By the way, folks, for the, those of you that didn't catch it yesterday, I have a survey, and it's about my channel and a little bit about me. If you have the time, please go through it and, and fill it out. I know surveys are no fun. This is a rather long survey. I didn't write it. Somebody else wrote it for me, but I'll put a link to it in the description, and you can go check it out. I appreciate it. I'm amazed at the results it's gotten so far. Amazed. But anyway, Joanne says, I hope you're not discouraged about the subscription numbers. You started your channel with for friends and fa family, and now you have more than 5,000 of those. You're right. My family has grown to well over 5,000. I enjoy watching you and your humor and would miss your channel if you shut it down. Question. I bought some C-Pack frozen battered shrimp the other day and noted that they were from Ecuador. The packaging didn't say farm raised or wild caught. I'm wondering if there are shrimp farms there. Topic for your next TAT. Well, I'm not going to... Joanne, <laughs> brace yourself because I'm not going to wait for the next TNT. I'm going to tell you right now, we probably have the largest shrimp farm in the world located right here in Ecuador. And they even have a name for it. It's called the Pacific Ocean. Can you imagine that? We have no shrimp farms here. All the seafood and the tuna, the covina, shrimp, more tuna, all comes out of that Pacific Ocean straight out that way. Right here. Okay? She said, I hadn't read anything about the earthquake next door, so I was surprised when you reported it, and then I began to see news footage, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I wanted to tell you about this shrimp I thought that was kind of funny. So, anyway, everything's okay. I'm over my food poisoning, mostly. We won't go into details about that. It's more gross than the pictures I showed, but you don't want to go through that. Food poisoning is no fun. So that's it. Okay. Thanks, folks. I appreciate it. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. I will see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.